girls, it's Friday, and it was a really short week this week. I don't know if everyone had a snow day on Monday, but I know the Green Bay School District, we finally got a snow day. Like, they called it at like 4.30 in the morning when everyone else in the whole surrounding area had like already canceled at Sunday night at like 10 o'clock, but we were, we were the last ones, of course. I don't know, our superintendent is, is not very funny like that. Um, Right now I'm refilming this vlog so many times just so, so as to avoid having to work on my Edgar Allan Poe paper which is due tonight at midnight to submit digitally to my English teacher. Um, it's not like it's a bad like paper, Like I mean I wrote it already, it's just I have to edit it a lot and I don't know. My English teacher, I feel like she could eat my face sometimes. I mean I'm on the language team. That sh and she's like head of that, so I mean, for sometimes I think she's a little bit gentler on me, but she could still just like eat me for breakfast. I'm scared of her so much, but she's so cool, but not really, and it's mind boggling. And, anyways, with the whole the bill thing that's being worked on being passed, it's causing a lot of teachers to retire. And she is one of the teachers, I think, that's probably going to retire, which would be really sad. Cause, I mean, I learned a lot from her, but um. So anyways, there's much more writing things that I'd rather be doing besides talking about and critiquing The Mask of the Red Death by Edgar Allan Poe. Like, for example, my zombie novel that's been kind of in the works for a while now. I still want to work on that. And I came up with, today, a multitude of short story ideas in which they involve, all involve me and being in Disney World, which is going to happen over spring break. but. I really can't wait to start writing those because they're going to be really funny and I'm pretty sure I'm going to incorporate uh, uh, <laughs> there's this guy, uh, English t student teacher at Provo, I'm pretty sure he's going to be incorporated in there too. He's quite attractive and there's going to be much hot tubbing scenes written I'm sure. Um, snowball happened this past weekend, that was kind of lame like all school dances are. I don't know why, I just don't like them. I like the getting dressed up and the going out to eat. Then the dances are always lame. But um, I have rehearsal all this weekend again for our spring performance for my dance studio. And we're working now on a piece called Cowtown, which is a Wisconsin love story according to our choreographer. And we're all cows. I just found this out. I thought Cowtown was just in reference to Wisconsin, but no us as the dancers, we are the cows. It's weird. Um, it's, it's to the tune of all these Patsy Cline songs. I've never actually heard of her. I should probably listen. She's a country singer though, so I'm a little bit scared because I don't like country. So I have that all weekend and I don't know. I should probably get to editing that paper, but I can show you my prom dress because it's really pretty. Okay, so here is the prom dress that I found. It's kind of under wraps so it doesn't get all dusty but I'm trying to shield the window anyways it's purple and it has pink flowers and it's it's long so we have to we have to alter it because um, I have a seamstress uh, apparently lots of people don't have seamstresses but um I have one <laughs> and I thought that was like the social norm until we were at the dress shop and for any she's like you have a seamstress what but I do so I have to take it to the seamstress so there's that. I guess I will see everyone next week, and I will see you on Monday, Sarah Klein. Bye!